Hey everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and we've got today's top five plants. Today, we're gonna talk about dahlias and I've got um, five different types of dahlias to show you. This one is called, uh, I think it's, yeah, Pink Rose Eye. It's part of the Dahlia series and we've grown this type for a long time. It, uh, it's gonna probably max out about 20 inches tall and they get really full. So one of these dahlias in a six inch pot, you could put it in a 15 inch planter all by itself and it will fill it out. Dahlias are a pretty aggressive plant. Um, something to note about dahlias, and we have a really strict rule here in our garden center, is dahlias do not get watered after 4 p.m. And uh, that was a tidbit I learned a long time ago from a greenhouse grower friend, and he grew amazing dahlias. And um, the reason is, is that dahlias are one of the plants we grow that are very susceptible to like a powdery or downy mildew. And um, if you're not sure what that is, it just looks like there's like just this little white sheen on a leaf where it just, it, it almost looks powdery, like a white powder. Um, not like not like little speckles, but just like a smooth covering, like a skiff of snow. Um, and dahlias, because they're one of those plants that are susceptible, um, the way that we prevent having that issue is just by making sure the leaves are dry into nightfall. So they never get watered after 4 p.m. Even if they are looking a little dry, they'll be fine until mor morning because the humidity level goes up um, in, in the nighttime in here um, because we've got all the roofs closed and whatnot. So if you are growing your own dahlias, um, I had a customer in today that was saying, you know what, I've, I've had, you know, this white stuff on my dahlias by mid-August and it is a powdery or downy mildew it could be one or either. Um, but a, a good thing to do if you're growing dahlias is don't give them a shower. Um, and that's actually, actually a good rule for all your plants. They don't need a shower on their leaves. When you water them, you know, uh, you could pick up the leaf canopy or put your nozzle right underneath. And we always use um, like a big long handle with a nozzle at the end, like a shower nozzle. And so we would like tuck that underneath. We're not we're not specifically giving everything a shower like a small child would do if they had a hose in their hand. So that's a really good tip for all of your plants. Other uh, plants that are susceptible to downy and powdery mildew are things like squashes. I know a few customers have trouble with like butternut squashes and zucchinis that they get this yellow or sorry, this white powder on them or like this white sheen on them. And like if you if you put your thumb across it, that w the white powder or mildew would actually come off. Um, so when we're talking about the, the, you know, what dahlias are susceptible to, the way to avoid it is make sure they're dry in, in, in at nighttime. So if you're going to water in the evening, very carefully lift that up and water only on the soil or water them earlier in the day so that they have a chance to dry completely. They are quite dense, the leaves in here. So there, there's not a lot of airflow happening. So give them time to dry before nighttime. Okay, that's a lot of talking about that, but it is really important and you can have very successful dahlias um, just, by, just by doing that. If you do see that white powder or mildew, like don't worry, there is, there is a fix. Take a tablespoon of baking soda, like regular um, baking soda you'd have in your pantry. Put it in a clean spray bottle with water, fill it up with water, like a one liter that you get from like the dollar store. We have a whole bunch of those on hand, um, in, you know, that we use here at the greenhouse if we need them for different things, fertilizer, whatnot. And then you spray that on the mildew, give the whole plant a spray, the, check the top and the bottom sides of the leaves, and that will actually um, keep that mildew at bay. It really helps. So this is the Pink Rose Eye Dahlia. This one is uh, just a pure yellow dahlia, again, 20 inches tall. We have a ton of dahlias in this size that are good for those patio pots and we'll fill out a 15 inch planter. You can, of course, mix dahlias with other items. I would just choose a larger planter than 15 inches because I have had dahlias choke out a few things like Calabrocoa over the years. Um, then the next thing we're gonna talk about is super exciting. And what we've got here is a dinner plate dahlia. So we're growing this one here. It's called the Kelvin Floodlight huge 10 inch blooms and they're going to grow about three feet tall so these dahlias are going to have blooms as big as your face they are gorgeous they grow taller uh my suggestion this is the kelvin floodlight my suggestion to you is take a bamboo stake and wh wherever you plant it i you can plant these in the ground that's totally fine 
they're a bit tall for a planter so unless you have a massive planter i would i would try to put these in the ground you could grow them in a pot though too put a bam slide a bamboo stake into into you know the ground against the dahlia because uh, this is going to grow three to four feet tall and then in a few sp spots like fix it on so that it has a lot more support in case it's windy you don't want your dahlia to get knocked over so this is the yellow one the kelvin floodlight the next one we have is called fairway spur and it is a gorgeous gorgeous color we only have three colors of the dinner plate dahlias and the last one here is called cafe ole and these dahlias are stunning if you um if you want to start a dahlia collection i highly recommend you get some dinner plate dahlias um they're not hardy here in our region here in alberta dahlias are not hardy and the tubers to save them like from year after year you have to dig them up so what's going to happen in the fall time is that we'll get what's called a killing frost and that's when a lot of the annual plants die they kick the bucket it's game over sometimes that's not until uh late september it just depends on the year um but they'll be noticeably dead they'll turn black the leaves and the stem they might even be mushy and at, that's the time when we would go we would cut them we would prune them back to about an inch or two we're going to dig up the tuber the tuber will be quite large it will be um a whole bunch of small pieces connected together and they look like a skinny uh, sweet potato so that's the clump you'll dig up underneath the ground and um, you're going to take that inside your house and you're going to let it dry out so you can get all the soil off of it let it dry out for a day or two on um, some newspaper or a cardboard box gently shake off the soil we don't want to break any of the pieces of the tuber off and then put it in a brown paper sack with the tag or at least write the name of it on the brown paper sack so that you know what it is and in this case it would be dahlia cafe au lait dinner plate dahlia so then the next fall and we'll talk about this or sorry the next february we'll talk about this in february you're going to dig up you're going to get your dahlia tubers and you're going to pot them up and let them grow how would you store your tuber though in your house so they cannot freeze if they freeze they'll get mushy and they're no good they're garbage so um, you're going to store them anywhere that you could store a sack of potatoes so that's going to be a cool dark spot in your house coolest spot that you have um, anywhere that you could put a bag of potatoes and it's not going to rot it's going to stay nice and fresh and hard or at least as hard as possible through the winter months um, that's the same spot you're going to put your dahlia so keep that in mind um, we do have three colors if you'd like to start your daily collection this year and you've never done it before uh, we would be happy to walk you through that again and we will talk about all these steps again through the fall so thanks for watching i know this was a little bit longer for our today's top five but dahlias are beautiful but we want you to be really successful growing them so if you have any questions ever at all you can give us a call we would love to help thanks guys bye for now